Good morning, guys. I need to have a talk with you. Um, I've been doing a lot of thinking, and there's some things I want to change about my life. The last like two, three weeks, I've been having something on my mind, and something pushed me over the edge, especially this morning, to 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 make those changes. So Dan from Dan's Epic Vlog went and watched our first vlog and said he was going on a, on a little Kurt uh, and Shailene, Mar Shailene and Kurt marathon and he commented on the video. So I went back and I watched the our very first vlog and it was kind of funny to see how terrible the vlog was. Our old camera, actually that we had to use yesterday, was absolutely terrible. I could remember how I felt in that video with how much more in shape I was, with how much thinner I was, with not so much sitting around and just being a lazy butt. So I've decided I need to take my life back into my own hands so I can be the best dad uh, that Jax deserves, as well as the best husband that Shailene deserves, and give me the best life that I, I can have. I've come up with a couple goals that are gonna last 30 days to better myself in a couple different areas of my life. And I'm gonna actually complete this, um, even if it means that my vlogs are a day or two late, because I need to take time and do these things rather than edit, uh, this, this needs to come first. Hopefully I can prioritize my time that I can do everything that I want to, which I think I can. Uh, in fact, I know I can. Number one, and if you guys want to do this with me, you're more than welcome to. I want to, actually I don't want, I am going to, 30 days straight, no rest days at all, I'm going to make 30 minutes minimum specific active movement. This means I am going to run, I'm going to bike, I can go swimming at the gym, I can uh, do a workout video. It doesn't really matter to me what I do during these 30 days. I just need to get back into the swing of things. In the future, I wanna get back into training for an actual race. At this point, I just need to worry about getting some of my activity back and getting my love of working out back. That's really what I miss personally. When I was training for the marathon, I loved going on, you know, six, seven mile runs you know, throughout the week. And right now, because I'm so out of shape, I sometimes dread them. So that's my goal. And my second goal, and I may add some more on to it, I only have two goals as of right now, is from this moment on, <clears throat> minus a couple things I'm gonna talk about in a moment, because I already have um, some pre-made commitments. I'm going to make a goal to not spend any money other than necessities for a 30 day period. That means no going out to dinner, no going out to lunch. If I forget food, I'm gonna have to go without. It's gonna make it so I thinking and preparing I think that's the biggest thing for me, is actually preparing my meals. Also, I think it's gonna help me in the long run be, my, be more financially stable. Now, we're pretty good, but there's you can always be better. You know, one thing that I want to do that we're not doing right, very well right now, I wanna do this uh, for Shailene and myself, but mostly Shailene, is I want to be better financially so that when we're ready to adopt and if we're ever called on to adopt we're ready I have a strong feeling the last couple days that you know it could be anytime soon I don't know where this feeling is coming from <coughs> but we need to, but we need to be ready for when it does happen and as many of you would know adoptions a big stress financially so I need to prepare myself. There's already a couple of commitments that we already have that I'm not gonna be able to follow through with this uh, financial thing exact. Like there's a, a dinner that we're supposed to go to, I think it's next Wednesday, to support somebody's adoption actually. And I should actually throw a little plug in there. If you guys are living in Utah, 
if you guys have time, I think it's next Wednesday. I'll put a link in the description below if I remember. Shailene's nonprofit organization is doing a dinner at the Pizza Pie Cafe in Bountiful, Utah. 25% of all proceeds, which is a huge amount compared to most restaurants. So if you're around, come out, help support them. Um, we're gonna be there, come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop you know, talking about this, but if you guys want to do this challenge with me, come do it with us. These are just two things I want to do to better myself, both financially and physically, which in the long run I think is gonna make me happier and a better person. On to the vlog. guys so I am so sorry I just realized what time it was and I've got the hiccups really bad so sorry if you can hear those but um I just realized what time it was it's almost noon already and this is the first time pulling the camera out today so um Jax and I have just kind of been hanging out I am actually trying to get some vlogs not some vlogs some videos edited for my channel I am slacking with being on the cruise and then going on another vacation right after that I just have gotten behind. So I've got a couple videos I'm trying to get edited so I can get them posted on my channel ASAP. Hopefully I'll have one posted tomorrow. So I just kind of have been distracted and then Jax just sat here and watched the full movie of Mr. Peabody, huh? Jax is begging to go outside again as usual. So we are gonna go outside and go for probably a little bit of a bike ride, go hang out for a little bit and then we will go take, he'll go take a nap. And then while he takes a nap, I'll hopefully be able to put a little bit of makeup and then Kurt will wake up and I will go to work Unfortunately, let's have a great day everyone. All right. It is absolutely Phenomenal outside today. I mean it's gorgeous Absolutely beautiful. Look at these beautiful skies And our pretty blossoming trees Our little baby trees. They're still trying to grow they're getting there. Good day to get outside and move around a little bit. We're gonna go to the park. Huh. Should we go play at the park right there? It's how to park this bike. It's kinda cute. Alright, let's go down the slide. You gonna hold on? Okay. Okay, get up. Good job, do you remember how? Good job. Ready? And jump! What are you watching? Kitty cat? We're watching the Aristocats. This is the first time we've watched it and I think he likes it. And you're a Pesios. Look who's alive. Not me. He finally woke up. It's like 2 o'clock and he's only been awake for like half an hour. Say hey. You say that like a bad thing. Like, I'm not supposed to sleep. <laughs> oh no, he's supposed to sleep. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. He, I'm just saying you just, just woke up. Now he's trying to help me figure out something to do with my video. We're trying to see if we can use music on my video that we use on our vlogs. But I don't think it's going to happen. Look how handsome he is. Aww. So, I think I can see a lot of watermelon in our future this summer. This kid loves it. Huh. Came in from working out in the yard for a little bit. And it sounded so good, and Jax was asking for it anyway, so I'm like, let's cut some. I just wish I knew how to pick watermelons as good as Shay does. Look how good that watermelon looks. Mmm. There's Jax. Peekaboo! <laughs> That's why we have a hard time giving him watermelon. Look at his shirt and his face. Hey, Jax. Why so serious? I'm dead. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, yeah? Bob Where's Jax? Where's Jax? Peekaboo! 
Man, I haven't filmed much this afternoon. I've been cleaning, did some yard work, and then we're about ready to put Jax down for a nap, and down for the night, I should say. And I put him down a little bit earlier than usual. And the reason why is I want to have him get a couple hours sleep before I have to wake him back up to take him into work to drop him off to Shailene. So I got my last midnight shift. Woohoo! I'm excited for that. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put him down for to sleep, and then I'm going to um, get some more housework done. I want to clean our bedroom up a little bit because it's nice and messy. Little stinker's trying to run over my foot. Ow! <laughs> Oh, he backs up and he does it again, he little stinker. <laughs> Ow! 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 So I'm sitting here, uh, just about ready to put Jax to bed, and I've been doing some Snapchats of him playing with books that he's not supposed to be playing with. It's a little stinker. And just realized, you guys need to follow us on Snapchat. If you guys don't already, I'm under, I think it's just Kurt Klein. And Shailene is under, let's see. She's just under Shailene Klein. Shailene Space Klein, Kurt Space Klein. Klein is with a C, C L I N E. So go follow us. We like using the Snapchats. Then also on like Instagram, go follow us there. Links are in the description below. Twitter machine. Everything like that. So, go follow us. Duh. So this is the game that me and Jax likes to play. I don't put his uh, fingers in all the way into his pajamas. Then he has to undo them. Get your fingers out. I made it a lot harder today than it usually is. He's about giving up. Here, let me help you a little bit. Can you help that one a little bit too? You got it, you got it, you got it. Oh, Temper Tantrum City. Hey guys, okay, I'm done with work. Kurt's like, here hey. with Jaxie Poo. We're going home. You ready to go home and go to bed? Okay, uh, say bye. I'm dead, yeah, okay, we're gonna go bye bye. I'll we'll throw it to her again. Uh,